Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the evaporator fan blade in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Open the freezer door and remove the ice bucket. Using a quarter inch socket or nut driver, fully unthread the lower screw, securing the ice maker to the liner. Loosen the two upper screws. With the screws loosened, you can lift the ice maker off of the screws. Lift the tab to disconnect the wire harness to fully remove the ice maker. Slide out the glass shelf. Fully unthread the upper ice maker mounting screws. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the screw to release the ice maker harness cover. Slide the fill tube extension off of the fill tube. Detach all of the screw hole plugs. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws, securing the evaporator cover. Pull the evaporator cover forward from the top. Push the ice maker wire harness through the slot and you can fully remove the evaporator cover. Remove the insulator block. You can now pull off the old fan blade from the evaporator motor shaft. Install the new evaporator fan blade by sliding it onto the motor shaft until the blade is fully seated. Reposition the insulator block. Use string to help feed the ice maker wire harness through the slot in the evaporator cover as you fully reposition the cover. This will require some effort. Rethread all of the screws to secure the cover. Snap in the screw hole plugs. Realign the wire harness cover and thread the screw to secure. Slide the fill tube extension over the fill tube. Partially rethread the upper ice maker mounting screws. Replace the glass shelf. Reinstall the ice maker by first connecting the wire harness. Align the ice maker on the fill tube as you hook the brackets on the upper screws. Tighten the screws. Thread and tighten the lower screw. Replace the ice bucket. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.